The Center for Social Justice, Equity and Transparency says that in conjunction with Coalition of Civil Society Group for Renewed Hope in Nigeria, launched an investigation into the allegation through a well thought out process that was subjected to a multi layer of scrutiny to put issues in proper perspective. The registration documents from the Corporate Affairs Commission were scrutinized using the Freedom of Information instrument and it was revealed that Ahmed Salejo Ahmad was not listed as a director of the organization. Findings also revealed that the directorship of Ahmed Salhejo had, had been replaced for as far back as April 2019, eight months before his appointment as the Chief Executive Officer of the Rural Electrification Agency in December 2019. From documents and records at the CCB and Rural Electrification Agency, there was no evidence suggesting that the REA CEO influenced contract in favor of Velocity Logistics and Marine Limited. The promoters of Dominion Nigeria Limited could not substantiate their argument beyond the petition written to the Code of Conduct Bureau which marks a mockery of the process and indicates either mischief or a slander campaign against the CEO of the REA. It was also identified that Donington Nigeria Limited had been in the habit of confrontation and blackmail when contract bidding for were not successful. For example, the organization has taken the federal government to court <coughs> over implementing the advanced cargo declaration slash cargo tracking note regime. It alleged that the Federal Ministry of Transport was trying to introduce another organization to implement this scheme. It was also discovered that the promoter of Donington Nigeria Limited, Mr. Mohammed Sani, must have been behind the numerous slander campaign against the CEO of the REA after the failure to bid and get contracts at the Rural Electrification Agency successfully.